we're doing Simon service ourselves tomorrow. Colin's reading it, my husband Colin. Melanie Downey is preparing to bury her second brother, who died after becoming addicted to legal highs. Three years ago, William drowned after falling into a river whilst intoxicated. Then three weeks ago, she found Simon's body next to a packet of legal highs. After he died, Melanie wrote a post on Facebook, shared hundreds of times. Her brothers had been heroin addicts for years, but Melanie says when they moved on to legal highs, the impact was even more devastating. We couldn't make sense of the things that they were saying, lots of paranoia, delusional thoughts, psychotic episodes. After William's death three years ago, yeah. Simon became even more dependent on legal highs. As a family, we were all emotionally torn between trying to grieve for William and to try and support Simon. So it was a really, really difficult time for all of us. In the days before his death, Simon came to stay with Melanie and was clean for a while. He even wrote on his Facebook about the upcoming ban on legal highs. But then he got an email from a company that was selling them. He mentioned some offer that they were doing and it was three for two or free delivery if you spend over a certain amount. But he'd mentioned this special offer and he said, it, he said it feels like it's a sign. The next day, Melanie found her brother's body. Beside him was a packet of legal highs. I didn't see that at the time, but when the police came, they, they saw this and it was um, a cherry bomb but apparently as a brand of legal high and that's what was beside him. But I knew when I saw him that he was gone. The legal high ban is coming into force the day after Simon's funeral. We'll always have drugs. We'll always have addiction problems. These drugs will just become illegal highs. It'll be the same drugs. It'll just be sold in a different manner. I think the ban coming into effect is a, is a positive step. So kids aren't getting enticed walking down the high street, you know, walking down the street, going next door for a can of energy drink and, and into the shop next door for, for a legal high. These are some of the products that from midnight to night will be illegal to sell either online or in so-called head shops. The government is bringing this new law into force because in the past, when it tried to outlaw a particular substance, the manufacturers would just tinker with it, creating for legal purposes an entirely new one. However, not everyone is convinced that this new law is going to solve the problem. At this drop-in centre for vulnerable people in Birmingham, they've seen the numbers addicted to legal highs rise rapidly. I mean, this is stuff that I've just collected in this area, maybe over the last sort of three years. Like Melanie's brothers, many are addicted to what are called synthetic cannabinoids, but their effects are more like heroin or crack than cannabis. It's on a different level to anything we've ever seen before. I mean, it would take maybe one or two sort of pulls on a, on a joint and people would just be keeling over to ban these things. You know, is a good thing, but that's not the full story, you know. Because the demand isn't going to go away? Because the demand won't go away. The reasons why people use won't go away. Most of us now smoke this not to get high off it anymore. No, just we smoke normal. it just so we ain't having stomach pain. Yeah. Kevin Snowy have been taking synthetic cannabinoids for years now. They've seen the effects both on the streets and in jail. What does it do to your mental health then? It's changed a lot of people mentally. I think it's destroyed, it destroyed a lot of people. It's certainly helped now. It definitely ain't helped me. It's yeah. made a lot of people more violent, I think. I got stabbed about three weeks ago. A screwdriver. That was because of being, I wouldn't give somebody a spy. They're torn about what the effects of the ban will be. We know we're still going to be able to get it next week and the week after. Yeah. We know, and everybody else does, but people are stupid. Would you, are you still in favour of it being banned, then, even though it's going to be...? For what it's done to people, yeah. 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 Britain is said to have one of the highest rates of legal high usage in the world, but legal highs aren't all the same. Laughing gas inhaled in balloons in festivals and nightclubs is one of the substances that will be outlawed. It can be dangerous, but far less than synthetic cannabinoids. In fact, the wording of this new law is so broad, specific exemptions have been written in for alcohol, tobacco and caffeine. Here we have some pills of 2CB fly, 
Stephen Reed runs the Psychedelic Society and is a user of legal substitutes for drugs like LSD that are about to be banned. So there's a whole range of substances that are currently legal and the different substances have vastly different risk profiles. Uh, there are legal psychedelics like 1PLSD and TCB fly that actually are extremely safe. Um, there are other substances like the synthetic cannabinoids which seem to be much more risky and it seems to me we need to evaluate each substance or each class of substances according to its own risks and benefits and, and avoid trying to take uh, this blanket approach. Lots of the head shops selling legal highs of all descriptions have been closing down in recent months under pressure from local councils and trading standards. In Ireland, which passed a similar law six years ago, they've been completely wiped out. But there, there have only been a handful of prosecutions. For Melanie and her family, the law is already too late. But having seen her brothers on both heroin and legal highs, she's clear which is more dangerous. I'm not saying they would, might both be here today if they were still addicted to heroin. That lifestyle may have also caused their deaths. Um, but as far as them being healthy of mind and being able to have a re relationship with their family, then, then yes. Isn't that a strange thing? Heroin would have been a much better choice.